Ranger. Ranger. Are you a lazy boy? Are you lazy? Oh, my fingers in the way of the film. Are you lazy? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, I will not be showing myself in video this time. And I have to be quiet because it is like... 10, 27 a.m. and everyone is still asleep. What do you expect when it's spring break? Okay. This is part four of my Nintendo 64 video game collection. I could not finish it yesterday. Yes, it is April 6th and the other three were made April 5th. But anyway. Let's begin. Uh, I really don't have a comment on this. We got this when we got when we saw the Rugrats in Paris, the movie. When this came out after the movie, I think it was after or before the movie, I'm not sure. But uh, I kind of found this boring when I played it. I don't. It, it was just boring to me. Oh boy. This is the game that so many Mario games today are based on. Super Mario 64. Not only that, but it had a remake done for the DS. In which you could play as Luigi, Wario, Yoshi, as well as Mario. I'll get into it when I get to my DS collection. But anyway. This game was fun. Not only for the interesting plot, but also for a little... Uh, well, I just... Personally, am I the only one who found the caps funny? I, I hear a lot of people said that they found the caps, like the metal cap, the wing cap, the invisibility cap. They all found them boring and that they shouldn't have been in the game. That's what I heard some people say about this. Um, I have to disagree because I thought it was a nice little add-on for gameplay. I don't know, that's just me. And also, taking Bowser by the tail and hurling him into a bunch of sp uh, ball spikes, uh, balls covered in spikes, that is funny. Especially when he goes hurling into the air and slamming on either his back or his stomach. That was freaking comedy. Mm, ah. Pokemon Stadium 2! Pokemon Stadium 2. This was for the silver and gold version of the game. This also had mini games as well as like the first one did, along with adding the usual stuff from the gold and silver games. Um. That's pretty much all I have to say. Ugh. Note to self, video game cartridges do not make good blocks or whatever. Oh jeez. This right here, the Torah, this is the very first Torah game. Now I remember this for not only being the first M-rated game I was ever exposed to, as well as being the f as well as being the first shooter game, well, first person. It's not a first person shooter per se, I guess, but you do have first person and you do use guns and other weapons. This game Aside from that, I was I also remember it as being one of those games that I could figure out the puzzles or things to do in it that my that someone else I was playing with it at the time could never figure out. What I liked about this game also is the fact that there's a hidden weapon 
and you have to find pieces of that weapon hidden in certain areas you have to go through in the game. And that weapon is the only weapon you can use for the final... Well, it's not the only weapon, but it's the most effective against the last boss in the game. Not only that, in case all of you don't know, Torok was based off of a comic book of the exact same name. And also with the instruction booklet with this, we also got a look at what the comic book was like. I don't know if you could find the comic book online, but if you can, let me know, because I'd like to read the rest of it. Ah, the sequel to Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, this game, aside from the usual notoriousness of cultural references and the well-hidden adult humor, Again, if you'd like to see what that stuff is, check out Thumbs Up, Thumbs Up Master. I'm subscribed to him. I'll probably put it in this description box as well. But this was also notorious for, I, well, to me, having a darker feel because uh, there are a few temporary deaths in the game. But you could obviously, if you're a parent and you're worried about getting this game because I just said that, just... Look up information on it, really. But this, I would hi, I would recommend any Banjo Kazooie game to anyone, except for Nuts and Bolts because I haven't played that yet. Because I don't have the system it's on. Torok 2, the second game of the trilogy from the N64. The thing I remember about this is that well I can't remember the it's uh, Torok Two Seeds of Evil um, I don't really like giving the story plots away for these games as you may have noticed because I don't really got I never got into them but with this game uh, another menace has come up in the third game, a creature called Oblivion that's existed since the beginning of time was um, awoken from beating the first boss in the first Turok game. This game, um, I'm not going to get into the story seeing as I can't remember it too well, but another enemy resurfaces trying to take over the world, etc from the Lost World and it's up to you to stop him. What I remember with this, from what I can remember, is that in this one you have to collect tiles to gain certain abilities to use on certain tiles. Spirit, I think they were called spirit tiles, but... Uh, it's been so long I can't remember too well. Mario Party 2 and the original Mario Party. All I can say is I love all the Mario Party games. I have like all of them currently. This one I consider the funnest in regards to charm and for the areas. My favorite one in this game was Peach's Birthday Cake. I like this because not not only do you have to go around collecting stars, but there are also things on the board that you have to complete as well. Like in the peaches cake thing, you can add strawberries to the cake. Uh, I can't remember why that is, though. This, I just love purely because different themes and stuff. It's, it was like one big costume party. And all of you remember this. Super Smash Brothers, the original for the N64. I loved this when I first played it. So of course I have all the others. But I will cover those when I get to the collections that they belong to. Now, that's my N64 collection. Sorry if this was short. This fourth one was sh well, kind of short. And I didn't say much of anything, but I got complaints from people saying that I talk too much. And I already talked a lot in the first part of this. 
You can ask me questions if you want to about the games. Uh, and I'll cover it there. But with that, the N64 collection is finished, and my GameCube collection will be next. Possibly I'll get that done today.